Okay, uh, uh, in October of this year, uh, a very good friend of myself and of uh, the botanical community of Kentucky uh, passed away. Uh, uh, Bob Dunlap, Robert Dunlap, um, was an amazing uh, amateur botanist. He loved nature. Uh, his love of for the natural world was evident in how he spent his time. Uh, he was out almost every day when weather allowed exploring uh, uh, natural areas, wildlife management areas and other natural areas in Western Kentucky, looking for plants and uh, insects and everything having to do with nature. Uh, he liked to say of himself that he was, quote, an amateur naturalist living in Paducah who owns every Peterson field guide ever published. Um, and not only uh, did he did he go out and explore and find plants, uh, he loved to share his information with people um, uh, through field trips, through workshops and such. Uh, I first met Bob when I became a, uh, a Kentucky State Nature Preserves monitor, volunteer monitor for uh, Metropolis Lake uh, out here in McCracken County and found out that Bob had been a, uh, the, a, a monitor of the same location for many years. In fact, in 2005, he was awarded the Kentucky State Nature Preserves Volunteer Steward of the Year Award. Uh, and as I got to know him, we explored uh, many areas out here in McCracken County. And uh, uh, he, he, it was just, uh, I learned something new every time I went out in the field with Bob. It, it was amazing. And his ability to find rare and uncommon species <laughs> was just unparalleled. Um, he was also an amazing photographer. Um, and you can see his photog photographs and many of the plants he, he report uh, on his iNaturalist page. Uh, all you have to do is search R.A. Dunlap 211 uh, and you'll find his, his location. Uh, the la in, near the, the last couple of years, uh, he became especially interested in that in the rare in Kentucky uh, uh, Turk's cap lily, Lilium su su superbum, superbum, I can never remember <laughs> which way to pronounce it. Uh, and he found uh, several populations out at the West Kentucky Wildlife Management Area. Uh, and he began researching them in depth uh, and trying to see why they flowered, why they didn't flower what happened to them, uh, and then he began propagating them with the permission of the uh, uh, wildlife management area uh, managers. Uh, and uh, it's and he was doing some amazing work. And uh, uh, if you want to find out more about uh, that, his work, he did a great article for the Lady Slipper. It's on the Kentucky KNPS website. Uh, just do a search on Turk's Cap or Bob Dunlap, and you'll find that. Uh, I'd just like to to end my part with uh, just reading a quote from his wife, Michelle, who uh, uh, sent me an email that I think uh, really sums it up. So uh, <clears throat> Bob was very passionate about finding a way to protect the plants at the wildlife management areas. Bob was the kind of person who loved to study things in depth and the native plants of Western Kentucky became one of his most loved interests. He certainly enjoyed spending time in the woods, identifying plants and leading nature works. And after his retirement, he found great joy in the study of native plants. Thank you for remembering Bob and his lifelong dedication to understanding and exploring the natural world. So thank you, Bob, you'll be missed.
Yeah, I just wanted to reiterate a few things that that Jeff said, um, and from the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves, um, you know, that Bob had been volunteering with us since 1998, so an incredibly long time. Uh, Joyce Bender, our uh, former preserve manager who worked more closely with Bob as a preserve uh, uh, steward, um, uh, uh, could not be here today, um, but she did write about some of his work um, in the article that uh, we published on the on the lady slipper. Um, but yeah, he 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 was just a, an, an incredibly unique person. Um, I started interacting with Bob a little bit over maybe close to 15 years. I, I went back through all my emails from Bob over the years and and, uh, you know, his obsession, you know, in the beginning of, of trees, you know, he would find rare and unusual trees and send us, you know, locations to add to our rare species database and, and obscure wetland plants and, and just reading about all his travels. And he always, uh, when he would send in his reports of the preserves or, or send in reports of, of you know, interesting plants he would find. He had a way of, of writing that was just really enjoyable to read and, and uh, you know, little anecdotes or, you know, he, it wasn't just plants. He he would see animals too um, and, and report those as well uh, to John McGregor, um, the, the, you know, the state um, uh, uh, zoologist. So, uh, so yeah, we, we, we really miss Bob. And like Jeff said, <laughs> I saw how much he, he loved <laughs> those, those Turks cap lilies. Um, I know a lot of the, you know, since he retired, I, I think it was in 2017 or 18, um, you know, not just observations or visiting these places, he was getting much more into the conservation of the plants themselves and working with people to protect them. I know he collected a lot of seed and sent them uh, to Jeff Slade at, at UK Arboretum, for example, a few other folks. So um, yeah, we just we just really appreciate Bob and 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 we'll, we will re we will really miss him and we're really grateful for all the work um, that he did uh, for Kentucky. We have a, a couple of nice kind words about Bob in the chat that I'll go ahead and read. Um, Jess Slade said that Bob was an incredible steward for Kentucky plants. He donated several plants for ex situ conservation at the Arboretum, including some of those super lilies. He will be missed. And Vanessa Volker says, I'm very grateful to have had the chance to meet and botanize with Bob, and I always really enjoy getting his lily investigation emails. Thanks for that lovely tribute, Jeff and Tara. Yeah, 